Welcome back to Learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show the basics of creating a gradient. I've got a simple white background and a photo right here. And now I'll create a new layer by clicking on this icon. I call it gradient layer and I keep the defaults. Just confirm it, it's transparent for now. And now I want to use the gradient tool. You can press G for that or click on the bucket tool, hold and then select it. But G is the short key. The most important function is this. Just click on it and you see all of the default gradients that are inbuilt in GIMP. Let me pick one, for example, this golden. I can click and then drag. And if I hold control, it's going to snap in these, what is it, like 15 degrees increments. Let me release it. And it's the active, so via the drop down, I can pick other defaults. Let us start with the foreground to background RGB. So it's black to white in my case because black is the foreground, white is the background color. The shape drop down gives you access to other gradients, for example, a radial gradient. Or let me pick a spiral and you can see that very clearly. I'll go back to linear, we're going to work with this, and I'll reposition this plus sign. It's active, so the one on top, and you can see the color is black. If I click on the one at the bottom, it's white. So you can change the color right here for these two, and then start points. We make it red, and I confirm it, and now it goes from red to white. You can also add points to it, just hover over the line, and you can see a small plus sign appearing. And then left click. Let me change the color, for example, to green. And now we've got a third point in our gradient that goes from red to green to white. Let me add another point right here. So I hover over it, left click. I activate it by clicking on it. And now I unlink it by clicking on this icon. And I change the left color. And now we've got a very hard edge. Let me change the right color. And you can see we've still got this very sharp edge thanks to the unlinking. If you want to delete these points, activate them and click on this X icon in the menu. In many cases, you want to have a gradient that goes from color to transparent. And there's the foreground to transparent option right here. The top one is black, as this was my foreground color, and the bottom one is transparent. So now we can see the image that is below this gradient layer. Let me change the top color to red, and you can see that much clearer. If you select another tool, this gradient tool will vanish. And these are the basics of creating a gradient in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.